Hello, and welcome to Composer 2015, Essential Training Series. Before we get going keep in mind that, this tutorial will be more of an exercise, rather than a tutorial. Our goal in this video is to create two shots, of an interior scene. One of them will be a material-based lighting, the other one will be a sun-based lighting. There will be other future videos examining other lights, used for other purposes than realistic lighting shots. Keep in mind this tutorial may not cover up older topics that we already learned in previous videos. Having that said, let's go ahead and start our training. Let's start Composer and select an empty scene. Import your interior model into the scene. Simply drag and drop it into the viewport. In my case I choose a bad case import where all materials are black. Due to some options I checked and uncheck when exporting from my native application. This section of this video will focus on adding materials to the scene. It's important to quickly improvise before finalizing your materials. Composer offers an abundant set of ready-to-use materials. This is going to speed up this process. I will start off by unifying the types of materials into Composer material. Note that Composer supports multiple types but this won't help when it comes to having the best results in lightings. After opening the scene material panel, select all slots, then on the right panel switch them to plastic. Now I will hide the walls to have a better look over the insides of this scene. Hit H to quickly hide and hit S to quickly show. Okay that's better. Now let's zoom in and start dropping our materials. A quick render may help us have a better idea of what we need in this scene. I'll start with a carpet. Maybe a different style. This one's good, but the tiles need to be increased. Head to Texture Coordination Desk Tab. A tile of 5x5 five five may do it. Alright. Now I want to add a better lighting. To help me choose the right materials, HDR lights are quick and easy for this task. Let's get rid of the reflection, we don't need that. As for the dining table, I'd just go with any type of wood. Notice how other objects changing with the dining table. This is due to them sharing the same slot in the scene material panel. We will get into changing that option shortly. As you can see it's pretty easy stuff when it comes to assigning materials. Now for the ceiling, I'd prefer the hollow part to be a different color, but it is assigned to the same material slot of the dining table.
This can be done by selecting it, dragging the highlighted slot away, but within the panel, and while still selecting, assign the newly created slot onto it. Now it has its own slot and we can drag any material without affecting the other wooden parts in the scene. We will try this once again on the shelves over here. Let's proceed our material assigning task. Alright, I'm satisfied with what I have here. Now we will start lighting our scene. I will start off by turning off our HDR light. We won't need it for now. Now I will turn the lights on the ceiling into emitter materials. First select the object, then select lights from material library. And drag the light onto it. Let's test our lightings. Hit F4 on your keyboard. As you can see our lights are a bit dim, let's strengthen it through the right panel. First select the light, let's try a value of 60, it's a bit high, we will get back to it in a minute. First I will put back the walls, but since they are all one piece, I shall break it into faces. Follow along on how to apply that. There we go, all set. I did this in order to place on my camera there. I'll put it back on the second shot. For now, let's apply a material on the walls. Before taking position, we must modify our FOV, or focal of view. This will bring more details into your shot, but it will also make things look cougar than it is. So use this tool wisely. Anyways, you must select your camera to edit the FOV, 
so in this case our camera is the active one, we are seeing through right now, so all we need do is, go to camera task tab, hit the select active camera action, now edit the FOV through the right panel. I think we can bring back our HDR to aid our lighting. I will change the light's color to a warmer sense. I just forgot to change the materials over there. Let's also decrease the power of our lights as well. You can quickly change the value of the FOV by holding, control and zooming in or out. Now I will exit this mode of view so I, can have a higher resolution and a wider view. Hit render preview and leave it for a while. Keep in mind that having multiple light sources, may compromise rendering time but deliver a better lighting effect on your scene. While waiting the render to finish, you can play around with the image effects. The blooming is one of my favorite effects. Now that we are done with our first shot, let's proceed to the sun-based lighting. Start off by returning the wall we just moved. Take the position you desire. Edit the FOV. I will take a snapshot to preserve this position. Now let's drag on a preset of a sun light. Turn off the HDR first. Luckily the sun position and power suits this shot, so we won't need to head to the left panel, and edit anything.
Now I will finish this by adding a depth of field effect. Follow along if you want. Okay, congratulations, you have completed, your first realistic interior render. Have fun simlabbing. Off I go, goodbye.